Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at some of the latest things that I've ordered from Menace RC. Now, for those of you that watch the channel a lot, you'll know that I am a fan of Menace RC. Greg, who uh, runs and owns the company and designs everything, is more well known these days for his fantastic antennas. And things like the Aeropod, I'm very proud to say I had a little bit of a hand in helping with because that kind of idea of having a low profile antenna designed to be proud of a model but still be aerodynamic was kind of an idea that we had while we're having a beer at one of the Western Park shows here in the UK. However, what lots of people don't realise is that Greg is actually started the business uh, back when he was making PCBs and boards. And one of the things that I've been really interested in getting my hands on is the Cobb LEDs. Now I've done a video on these a while ago, uh, talked about what these Cobb LEDs are. Uh, Greg's had a version of them for quite a few years now, but this latest version is an awful lot cooler. And until now, you've only been able to get the LEDs in a handful of colours. Now I got reds and blues in here, and the reason that they're all still in the packets is what I really wanted was a green cob LED. Because as a wing guy, of course red and green are kind of your natural uh, ways of lighting up stuff. And what I want to really do is put this stuff in my Atom RC Dolphin, and to put these um, cob LEDs kind of against the wing glowing into the wing so that it lights them up because here we're getting later evenings you know it's getting a lot darker earlier so a little bit of um, kind of dusk flying could be fun and having that aid for orientation and also because it looks cool would be easier to do with this but excitingly in my latest order I have the green cob LEDs there we go, we have the green. So if you have been, like me, waiting desperately to have green LEDs to go along with the red and blue LEDs and the other colors that he's been selling for a while, you can now get them. So stay tuned, I will be adding these onto my Atomarcy Dolphin and we're we'll going out for a fly. A couple of other things I've got in here. I have got another Cobb LED driver because uh, I did buy more Cobb LEDs than I needed. This is what actually lights these things up. So I will be putting this inside the Dolphin. However, to be able to turn it on and off uh, with a PWM pulse, I've also got myself one of these things, uh, another one of his fantastic RC switches. These are great. With a high PWM pulse, you can switch uh, a load on and off. Now, this isn't just great for things like this application where you want the cob driver being able to turn it on and off so in the daytime you don't have all the lights running pulling, pulling current. You can use it for pretty much anything. So if it's a car with maybe, I don't know, some kind of indicator lights or whatever it is, you can kind of wire it all up and then uh, break the positive line uh, and then put this in the, in the way and it just all works. That's great. Last thing to talk about, which uh, I, I'm kind of interested to see that Menace RC is branching out into, as well as having the antennas and all of this cool stuff. Again, stay tuned. You're definitely going to see these. I'm going to install them uh, and do a video about how I've set all that up. Um, this little Wiz flight controller. Now, this cute little thing is actually an F7 base flight controller. And this is something that Menace RC is now actually stocking. So this again is the um, the Wiz flight controller. It's an F722 260 megahertz CPU on this, MPU 6000, uh, USB Type C, uh, 20 by 20 mounting holes. It has a DJI Direct plug, six pins, so you can plug it straight in if you have an air unit of that type. VTX pit mode supported, five volt or VBAT selectable for your VTX and camera one wire analog camera control, four LED pads, one at each corner for easy LED install, six UARTs, four full UARTs with a receive and transmit pins. Uh, there's also an M5 and M6 pad if you want additional motor outputs, although most of us, I imagine, are going to use these things on a quad. And there's a buzzer pad, obviously built-in on-screen display, a little boot button, and a quite logical pin layout. The uh, link to the manual is on the website, but it isn't ridiculously expensive a really cute little boards for those smaller builds 
So I thought, let me just show you what I've got in, because uh, when I opened the box up, to be fair, uh, shout out to Greg, he actually popped this in for me as a freebie so I could have a look at it. This is actually the stuff that I was desperate for, uh, but I'll put links down below if you want to go and have a look. Uh, but uh, stay tuned, we're definitely going to see these cob LEDs and hopefully I can get some footage of me soaring around of the Cheshire landscape at dusk with the whole thing lit up like a Christmas tree. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media and if you're trying to learn about a subject then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organised into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.